maybe because it's still new to me, but I am still always amazed when a seed I planted germinates into a little seedling, and then again when it grows into a full-grown plant. We're on our fourth year of seed starting and our third year of growing flowers. We're planning on selling sunflowers by a roadside farm stand this year. In this video, we are going to share what we're growing. We've settled on sunflowers as our main product this year because we've had good success in growing them both years that we've tried. We need a little more time to prepare additional beds for diversity. And a YouTube channel that I follow, Sunshine of Flora, Christina says, says that all the bouquets have sunflowers in them sell for her. It's easy to get caught up in the idea of success and start comparing ourselves and our successes to the successes of others. And even though this is a side gig, I find myself afraid of failure. So we've defined what success looks like for us this year. Learn what it takes to grow 80 sunflowers per week. Sell some of those sunflowers. Start as many other varieties that are on our flower farm menu as we can, especially perennials. This means growing way more flowers than I've ever tried. It means growing as many flowers each week as I grew all of last year. Two years ago, we set aside a four by eight patch in the front yard to experiment with growing flowers. Last spring, we moved to a new property and because of the timing and the amount of work that needed to happen here, we only grew a few things. This year we thought we'd have about 1,500 square feet of growing space, but when we got out here and started prepping, we realized it was hard, compressed clay soil, and we were going to have to do a lot more work to get it ready. So we punted and we bought eight 3 by 8 metal beds to use this year for the farm. The first year, the only sunflowers I grew were branching, producing multiple flowers per plant or per stem. Last year, I grew mainly the single stem varieties. This year, I will be growing a variety of each. I prefer open pollinated because the seeds collected from these plants will be more like their parent plants. Hybrid or F1 seeds will be less like the parent and possibly even undesirable. I did collect some hybrid seeds from last year that I'll be trying just to see what I get for fun. We've not seen any variety in the colors of sunflowers for sale here in our area. So we'll be growing some of those just because I think that's what people expect. But I love the variety of colors sunflowers come in. So we will be growing a, a good blend of each. I've chosen several single stem varieties uh, because they have a lot of benefits. Short days to maturity, which translates to less wait time. Pollenless, so no pollen falling on your tables or surfaces. The flowers are large and they're consistent, so there's limited variations between the flowers. Basically, you know what you're going to get. The loss of one plant of a single stem is a minimal impact. You only lose one flower. And these seem to be easy to germinate. Single stem varieties that I am growing this year include the Pro Cut Plum and the Pro Cut Orange Excel. Both of these are left over from last year. Um, I only have what's left over from last year's packet, so I'll have a limited number of these. And I'll decide later on this year if I want to grow more of these next year. White Night and White Light, these are the main sunflowers I grew last year. I enjoy the lighter color of the petals, um, and they did well in the yard, but they attracted cucumber beetles and leafhoppers in August. I may keep these to a spring and early summer harvest to avoid those bugs. I'm experimenting with the Procat Peach this year. I'm curious uh, what the color is going to look like in person, and I bought 250 seeds to try out.
love love bicolor sunflowers so i bought 250 of the red lemon to try out this year bright like the sun with a gold center and rounded gold petals these flowers are also downy mildew resistant which is important when growing in our humid coastal climate I chose the Sunrich Summer Province for the classic look and because it has the earliest days to maturity in the Sunrich series. I will also be experimenting with Mongolian giant sunflowers this year, standing up to 14 feet tall and flower heads up to 18 inches wide. They should provide a bit of whimsy to the garden. Now let's talk about branching sunflowers I'll be growing this year. Left over from my very first year are red sun. The dark red colors are stunning and the plant produces quite a few blooms. Bashful. The petals stay closer to the center and these blooms provide a different and unexpected shape. Fantasia hybrid, because I still have some of these seeds left over. Starburst mix and Joker mix. These again are mixes that I had left over from last year and I'm gonna go ahead and, and try them all this year and see if I will order more in the future. The branching sunflowers that are new to me this year, Summer Breeze mix. I bought this as my main fallback. They have a 60 to 70 days of maturity, so limited wait time. Um, and I bought a thousand seeds. Starburst Green Burst is unique in that they have a green center. Strawberry Blonde, the closest I could find to pink with the days of maturity between 55 and 65 days. We won't have to wait terribly long for them. Florenza, now these are open pollinated, so I'll be able to collect the seeds and grow them again next year. It touts a mild chocolate fragrance, so we'll see about that. Chocolat, with 65 to 75 days to maturity, we'll wait a little bit longer for these, but I think they will look great in late summer, early fall. And rounding out, the branching sunflowers this year is Soraya, with days to maturity of 85 to 95. It is open pollinated and it's an all American selections winner. Each plant produces between 20 and 25 stems. Coming up next here, indoors, soil blocking and seed starting, outdoors, filling these beds, getting them ready for spring and the rhododendrons are starting to bloom and i'm really excited to share that with you thanks for visiting until next time